Do you want one of these lovelies? Of course you do. No self-respecting dragonborn will step outside without one. Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. So, having got ourselves a reclaimed pet follower, let's take a close look at the little gremlins and decide whether they truly are the best pet follower. Now, I've uploaded a full walkthrough on how to get one of these little beauties, so I'll not be posting any spoilers in here, bar that you'll have to take a boat from Windhelm Docks to Raven Rock in Solstein, and from there travel to Thirstmead Hall on the banks of Lake Fjolding and follow the storyline from there. Now, just a quick FYI, you can travel there anytime from level one up. Now, you do need the Horn of Jürgen Winkle to start the main quest in Solstheim, uh, but you can go there anytime. Just go to the docks at Windhelm, and after getting there, head to meet with Captain uh, Bjorn Solsage, and he can be found on the first boat from the shore. Pay him, and I think it's around 500 gold for the first time, and he'll take you to Raven Rock. Okay, a little bit on the Reeklings themselves. Now, Reeklings are creatures that tend to live in small tribes and caves, ancient ruins and even mountain peaks. They are hostile in nature, but individually pose a minor threat. They typically rely on strength in numbers and a small group can quickly overwhelm an enemy. Uh, Reikling society has a tribal structure with tribal members holding specific occupational positions such as hunters, scouts and warriors. Um, strength is highly respected, the strongest member of a tribe typically assumes the rank of chief and succession is often determined by a fight to the death between the incumbent chief and a challenger claiming to be of great strength. Reitling settlements, or Reitling settlements, sorry, give insight into their level of intelligence, which corresponds roughly to a Stone Age society. They develop simple tool crafting and elements of rudimentary language and religion, and they've actually domesticated bristlebacks, which quite often they'll fight, uh, bring into uh, a battle. Reeklings are extremely vicious and hostile, generally responding with violence to any contact with the citizens of Solstein. Okay, for the bit that really interests us is uh, a Reekling follower. Now, you can have four types, a Reekling, a Reekling scout, a Reekling hunter and a Reekling warrior. We'll ignore the Reekling itself because he's just so weak, it's unbelievable. So you want to go for the last three. Now, a Reekling scout is level 11, uh, 11 um, health of 200, stamina of 140, uses both ranged and melee combat. A Reekling Hunter is level 616, uh, health 250, stamina of 160, and prefers ranged combat, but will do uh, melee. Uh, a Reekling Warrior is level 23, health of 352, stamina of 188, and prefers melee combat. Now, interest interestingly, they got some abilities and perks. Now, they resist frost up to 25 points, and all of them, the scout, the hunter, and the warrior, indeed, actually, the right thing itself, um, has critical hit and extra damage 2.5 on the scout, hunter, and warrior. The reekling has extra damage of 2. So that's actually not bad. Now, you can equip the uh, Reeklings with um, armour and weapons. Uh, generally, the Hunter and the Scout prefers ranged weapons, so like a good bow. Uh, maybe the Hunter you can give a sword. Um, the Warrior, you can equip all that, plus you can give them a two-handed sword. Now, it doesn't actually show in the animations that they have them on, uh, but if you go into them and say, can I trade something with you, have a look. They'll have the weapons and armour uh, fitted. They could even wear dragon masks as well. OK, as you can see, I've um, smithed and crafted some pretty good armour and weapons for this little chap. Now, eventually, I want to be making uh, Stolrim stuff for him with his... Uh, the enchantments and effects that has that make this little guy <laughs> really super tough. Anyway, give him a nice big ebony sword, two-handed, ebony bow, and I'll give him some arrows as well. Got to have some of them, nom nom, and some. Give him those. And bone arrows, I don't need that. I'll give him some more. 
yeah, I'll give him some more later. I'll craft him up some uh, really decent arrows. How made some glass, uh, legendary. Now bear in mind they like light armor. I've put all the effects on it, which will actually help him. Two-handed stamina, uh, that kind of thing. Blah blah blah. And he's equipped that. He hasn't equipped the uh, greatsword though, so I can take the spears off him later. I'll see how he goes with the spears. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the armor's pretty damn good. So yeah, that's all. That's uh, my little chap all set up and uh, ready to go. Okay, a few things uh, before we take him out for a test run. Uh, when you take him home, your kids can either be frightened by him, uh, ignore him, or indeed even want to take him on as a pet. Um, if you leave him too long, he will go back to Thirst Mead Hall. I think it's a couple of days. And occasionally, if you bring him into Skyrim itself, he can wander off back to um, Thirst Call. So if you do lose him, go back there and you should find him. Okay, that being said, let's get this guy out and test him. Okay, let's take this uh, little beauty out for a test drive. Uh, just gone to a little bandits camp behind White Run. I'm going to go invisible. I'm going to let this little chap fight on his own. Now, these guys are reasonably high level. I'm not sure what they are. I think they're, um, I think they're level 30. So there's two of them. For some reason he's seen me. There you go. Uh, Shadow Me is uh, taking care of the other one, keeping occupied. But this guy's in full steel plate armour. Done him. And if you notice, he's using his spears a lot. I'm doing quite a lot of damage with them as well. And he's got hit again. Right, so what we do, we do it without Shadowmere now and see how he gets on his own. Okay, I'm going to fire arrow just to uh, wake the little bastards up and go invisible again. See how the little chap does this time. Now I picked this location because it's not ridiculously hard enemies and also the train's not particularly good. There's a lot of jumping around and uh, a lot of obstacles in the way. See, now he's using the animation of uh, stabbing with a spear but he's actually using his greatsword I think. Now it gets a bit of range, he's uh, throwing the spears. And this is quite interesting as well, because he'll take cover, he'll actually use cover. Now I've given him a damn good bow, I don't know why he's not using the bow. But so still, he's, he's you know he's he's doing a lot of damage. Now to put this in perspective, when I first came here, these guys run me bloody ragged. So uh, I thought this was a good little test for the little chap. Again, he's sticking to his uh, long range. Now I could take the spears off him, and that would force him to use a bow, uh, and I'll try that. But I just want to see how he goes naturally. And he's done. Two bandits on his own. That is fantastic. I'll give you a little taste of something else I'm going to do with him as well. And this is something I'll be um, bringing out in a video fairly soon. And these spiders will fight for you. So I thought I'd use a couple of these with the right clean. I'm going to have to give him a name actually. I love him. <laughs> So here we go, same scenario, run down here. And just get these guys annoyed. 
which doesn't take much. There you go, guys. <laughs> and the little uh, Bert, he's... Job done. Fantastic. So let's ask the question, is this the best pet follower in the game? And without a doubt, absolutely yes. And if you give them the right equipment and the right armor with the right enchantments, these boys are just brilliant. Um, the only thing you've got to put up with is their heavy breathing and, and weird kind of noises they make all the time. But that said, I can easily put up with that. These guys are brilliant. Really, really recommend uh, you get one and see my video on exactly how you do get it. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.